As long as there's sovereign nations possessing great power, war is inevitable. Albert Einstein. Hi, I'm Kenny Yates, and this is Memories of War. Today, Memorial Day, as we remember and honor our fallen soldiers, I want to tell you a story about a World War II vet who was killed during the war. It was told by Navy Corpsman Harry Robin Lediker. Apparently, World War II is considered the most devastating conflict in all of history. Very few nations escaped its wrath, and even less escaped its hardship, especially Europe, which suffered the brunt of the devastation. As Lediker recalls, it was a Sunday afternoon, and they had just finished eating lunch when they heard that the Japanese had attacked Pearl Harbor. It was an unprovoked sneak attack that forced America into the war. Lediker had just graduated high school in May of 1943. He had just turned 18 in May of 1943 and was drafted in May of 1943. And by July 1943, he was on active duty. He was assigned to a medical supply facility on Guadalcanal Canal. Lediker was fairly safe from harm as he did not see much combat. One day, as he was driving down a street, he saw two guys that he recognized. It was his good friend from high school who lived right down the block from him. He stopped and said, hello, how are y'all doing? And what are you doing here? His friend told him that they were there on R&R &R and was about to go back to their unit. Lediker asked his friend, what can I do for you? What, what can I get you? His friend asked for a sheet because he hadn't slept under a bed sheet in six months. Lediker told his friend, it's no problem, I can get you those sheets. Meet me tonight after the movie and I'll give them to you. The hospital always used to put on a movie for the troops. That was their entertainment. Lediker's friend told him that they were leaving the first thing in the morning to go back to their unit. He remarked that that was great and that they should meet up together after the war is over to have a cold coat together. And this was his friend's reply. And Bruce looked at me. <laughs> and he said, Robin, I'm not going to make it. I said, Bruce, don't talk like that. He says, yes, you are. He says, no, Robin, I'm not going to make it. And I looked at him and I said, well, God bless you. Shook his hand, turned around and walked off. That was the last time Lediker ever saw his friend again. He was killed four days before his 19th birthday, May 11th, 1945, Okinawa. He was only 18 years old when he gave his life for his country and for our freedom. There are many sad and heartbreaking stories like this one of soldiers who fought for our freedom. Soldiers who were axed. No, they were ordered to run boldly into the face of certain death and courageously they obeyed those orders, knowing fully well they would never again see their loved ones. Never again would they get to go back home. Some would never be married. They would never have the blessing of having their own families. They knew that this was the end of their short life, a life given so that many would live in freedom, so that we would live in freedom, and that we would enjoy our families. Let me leave you with these closing remarks by Corsman Harry Robin Lediker. That's another reason why I was honored, felt honored to come to this. My brother was a prisoner of war about six months. He was in the army. He was captured in the Battle of the Bulge. So that's one reason why I'm here today is I want to honor him and, and Bruce. I just think it's uh, it's a good thing to, to give something to your country. And uh, uh, I've never regretted what I've been in the service. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of my service and proud of my country. And we are proud of you, sir. 
thank you. And we are proud and thankful to all those soldiers like Bruce who knew that they would not make it. He knew what lay ahead of him, but without complaining, without murmuring, without screaming, woe is me, or oppression, oppression, while signing multi-million dollar deal contracts and being paid a king's ransom and treated as heroes. He, however, went willingly to his anticipated death in defense of our freedom, your freedom and my freedom. And we are grateful. I'm Kenny Yates, and this has been Memories of War. Have a safe and blessed Memorial Day, and be grateful that you live in a free country. It costs tens of thousands of lives for us to have it. Thank you.